Hi friends today i am here to share an experience with you of mine i was fortunate enough to get a chance to attend the global science fest being held at thonekkel tiruvananthapuram our school bhavans vidya mandir took the initiative to take us to the world of science on 10th feb 2024 GSFK that is Global Science Fest Kerala 2024 is the Asia's largest thematically curated science exhibition. It's a joint initiative of the government of Kerala Science and Technology Department, Kerala State Council of Science, Technology and Environment and a Museum Arts Science. It is set up at Bio360 Life Sciences Park, Thonekil, Trivandrum. This event will be concluding on 15th Feb. a huge giant wooden ship a replica of charles darwin's ship which he used to sail all around the globe to carry chronometer surveys to find out many hidden secrets of our earth remember of pirates of the caribbean movie as soon as i stepped onto it One of the pavilion was about our solar system. There was a detailed description about our planets and other celestial body. Museum of Moon is an artwork by UK artist Luke Jerram. It's seven meters in diameter. The moon features 120 dpi detailed NASA imagery of the moon's surface. I had the feeling of true comfort when our very own chanda mama was hovering above my head a huge replica of mars was also a special feature of this pavilion through vr and ar experience i felt the terrifying reality of war retreats are past etc it integrates augmented reality and virtual reality
a 3D model of a big see-through cell and its interior parts were on display. How cells grow, how they reproduce, etc. All sort of informations and real visuals were shown on different screens. I got a chance to see real human organs and got to know more about them. The 3D visual of our heart and its functions were truly amazing.
there was a life size replica of a fully grown T Rex. replicas of fossils of different creatures like magniora a giant dragonfly are also on display about 12 meters long and 6 meters high the t-rex had a massive head that could measure up to 1.5 meters in length and was filled with long sharp teeth that could measure up to 30 cm helps sleep of the terrestrial relatives these creatures roam the planet and emerge as the diminutive chicken sized microraptor exploring the different parts of human brain and nerves how they work how it looks when we are taking an mri scan and best of all looking at a real human brain all was amazing
the ISRO pavilion was full of inspiring displays of real rocket parts, landers, engines and many more. Life-size sculptures of world's famous scientists were also on display along with details about their works. Hey everyone, so here we are at the place where uh, the contributions of C.V. Raman is uh, presented here. So C.V. Raman, Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman was an Indian scientist who was, uh, who was uh, in instrumental to finding the, why, uh, the biggest question of why the sky is blue. He also contributed to many, uh, uh, many uh, sections of science and he was also the first scientist, Indian scientist to gain the Bharat Ratna and Nobel Prize in Physics. Thank you. Jane Curie was respected by scientific worldwide. She was part of an important scientific group and even worked with the League of Nations.
in this pavilion i felt as if i time traveled myself into the past <laughs>
The beautiful display of dolls from all around the world was truly eye-catching. was a collaboration of artists, scientists, designers, musicians, architects and more.